G'day, I'm Winston, and welcome to my show, Winston at Work, where we look at what jobs people do. Today I'm looking at concrete, and one of my favourite trucks, the concrete truck. When I was little, I thought they looked like giant snails, crawling along the roads carrying around their houses on their backs. Except these houses spin around and around. Most people have seen these trucks around, but what else do we know about concrete? Well, it all begins at a plant like this. Making concrete is a bit like baking a cake, where you mix special ingredients together to make something else. To make concrete, you need sand, stones, cement and water. Cement is like the glue that sticks it all together, and they keep cement in these big yellow silos. Other big trucks bring the sand and stones to the plant. Then they measure it all out and pour it into a concrete truck for mixing. Just like a giant cake mixer that can move. It can get pretty noisy and dusty in here. But they even recycle this dust from the air to make more concrete. They also add a special chemical to control how fast it sets. Otherwise it might dry and go rock solid in the truck. There's lots of checking to make sure the mixing's going all okay. And when it's full, they give the truck a wash before it's off to the job. There are hundreds of uses for concrete, from building bridges to factory floors, but today we're going to look at pouring concrete foundations for a new house. And they have to get it right, otherwise the whole house might fall down. First they spin the drum the other way, so the concrete comes out and down the chute. Then it goes into the concrete pump, which sucks up the wet concrete in a pipe and pushes it out just like a giant garden hose. Look how high they can pump it! Here it squirts out the end so the builders can put the concrete exactly where they want it. It's much faster than using wheelbarrows to move the concrete. A whole truck is emptied in a matter of minutes. The builders check everything's okay and as soon as the truck is empty it goes back to the plant for another load. It's busy work making concrete. Did you know concrete trucks are really really heavy? This one is 27 tonne when it's full which is like the weight of all the children from 27 different classrooms on one truck. When the foundations around the outside of the house are set, they lay plastic and pour in more concrete for the floor. They call this a slab. It's got steel mesh inside the concrete for extra strength. And here in Christchurch, we're making new raft slabs that are even stronger and earthquake resistant. Once the concrete begins to set, a chemical reaction takes place. It's a bit like the heat in an oven when you're baking a cake. So you need to be careful that it doesn't burn your skin. Once it's dry and goes hard, it's safe and strong. Then they can put up the timber frame and they can build the rest of the house. But only once the concrete has been made and laid properly. There's a real science to making concrete these days, with lots of different types for special uses. Here's a machine they use to test the strength of concrete. They squish it down until it cracks. It must be a pretty powerful machine. I do not want to put my hand in there. So, what have we learnt about concrete? Here comes a song. Let's think of all the things that we use concrete for, like building roads and even floors we all use concrete every single day so don't you wonder how concrete is made it's sand and stones and water and cement it gets mixed up in the truck and then the truck drives off to where it's gotta go to people waiting for the concrete show they pump it out then wait for it Dry. When it goes hard, you can't break it if you try. I think concrete is quite amazing stuff. With lots of uses, it is strong and tough. So now we know just a little more about.
about concrete and what concrete is for. You can make just about anything out of concrete, except maybe pyjamas. Let's hear it for concrete. Woohoo! Concrete, you little beauty! Go concrete!